Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little gift bag using the stargazing paper and the, I forgot what it's called, Crafting With You stamp set and the lovely decorative circle punch. So, nice easy project. Very simple, but I was bringing in the Moody Mauve. I love Moody Mauve, it's just a gorgeous colour. I'm going to bring in a different colour. But this is the other half of that paper, the stargazing paper. Um, and I'm going to work with... So this ended up with that bit in the background. I'm hoping it's going to end up at the front. I don't know that it will, but fingers crossed. Maybe if I go that way around, it might do. OK, 6 by 12 inches, it's half the paper. If you work in metric 15 by 30, and on the long side, score it at one and a half, five and three quarters, seven and a quarter, and eleven and a half inches, which in metric is four, fourteen and a half, eighteen and a half, and twenty nine. And then on the short side, score it at one and a half and five and a half inches. Again, in metric, that's four and 14. So, finished dimensions. So up to this point, four inches, and then it's by one and a half, and that's four and a quarter. So it's four inches to that point there where there's an extra score line, but that's just for nice closure. Okay, so I'm thinking we might get that bright white on the front. I don't know, so. I'm just vanishing all my score lines. I do like this paper. I didn't get the rest of the suite because I don't really know anybody who's into stargazing as such. Um, although I have, I don't know if I've said it before, I do have Orion's belt in a constellation on my arm. So I think, there you go, Orion's belt, but I actually have it repeated and it twists on this round there, but you can't see it very well. But yeah, I have Orion's belt on my arm. But yeah, otherwise, don't know anybody who's into stargazing. Right, where did my scissors go? Did I put them away? I did. So, my little thin bit here, I'm just going to nick off the end there and there and then cut down there. And I'm just cutting up all of the other score lines. Very simple. And then some tear and tape. And I'm going to close this bag up. Um, I'm looking for my paper piercer to peel the back off. I didn't have just so I could sweat. Oh, I have just put it away. There we go. Fold it over and close it up. So that look, it's I've got a bit of it. I've got a bit of the bright. It sort of ended up at the back again. Probably there was nothing I could do about that having cut the paper in that fashion. Oh well, it's all good. Okay. So just close that up. And then when you pinch here, I have got this score line there. You can see it quite well. And it will go like that. Now, I've put mine so it goes all the way down, but the bag is going to resist. Now, if you were put to put something quite big in there that goes all the way at the top, it's not going to go any further. I'm kind of liking that it's sitting just there. So, I'm going to grab my punch that's gummed up. There we go. And I want the bigger hole. Because I'm going to be putting that thick twine through. If I could get hold of it, I would. There we go. So that's just there like that. And so I'm using Pebbled Path this time. Um, this is a set of five, I'm guessing twines, I don't remember what they're called. I'm just going to take some of that curl out. And I do know from experience I need to kind of get it to a bit of a point if I can. There we go. And if you are, I've only gone through once on that, but if you want to and you are unsure that you're going to be able to keep it properly closed, go back through another time, another length. And you're almost stitching it closed. Oh, 
Oh, see, look. That's just tangled itself. But yeah, you're kind of stitching it, which means it's not going to come undone, or hopefully not come undone anyway. I do this when I use thinner twine. And it just means that bag is not going to open itself. me and tying bows what is it about me just can't do it there we go right so that's my bow done with quite cute tails and then oh I need this ribbon as well so this is also pebbled path and I've got just some regular basic white and my decorative circle punch I'm going to punch that out and I want the crafting with you. So I want the um, cut and emboss machine because I think it's fabulous. And I'm going to bring in Pebble the Path again. So I use Smoky Slate on that one, but this is quite dark. So I'm just going to save scrap paper. I'm going to put it on one side and see just how dark it is. Did I put my ink pad up? put that the right way around. I think I did. What have I done to that? I think I put that on upside down. Let me give it a clean and see what I've done. Or maybe my ink pad's just too... No, I think my ink pad's just too juicy. So, change of plan. Wrong colour. Smoke this later, are you? So I haven't used Pebble Path ink before. And what you can do, and what I will do off camera, is mop up some of that excess ink. That's perfect. But yeah, there's a little bit too much ink on, on my ink pad, which is, you know, not a bad thing. Uh, where's the Inspire Me? There we go. But it's a little bit too big for too much for detailed stuff like that. So I'll take some of the excess off and we'll all be good. So this is You Inspire Me and that is Blackberry Bliss Ink. Another fantastic colour. And what am I looking for? This. So um, I'm going to put some tape, some seal rather, all over the back of this. I'm going to cut to a nice angle. I would have had to do some pair of scissors. There we go. And I want it to kind of go at that angle. And I'm just going to go backwards and forwards. scissors there we go just backwards and forwards like that and then some dimensionals and I'm going to use a whole bunch of these because they're going to anchor that ribbon in place where it might decide it doesn't think the glue is enough And then while it's not, whoopsie, in, you know, it's not necessarily stargazing, I'm going to give it some sort of astral planets type things with some pebbled path. What are these called? In colour dots. That stuck itself to my finger. Too big and a medium, I think. And that is a lovely and quite simple stargazing bag. 
I hope you like it. But don't they look different when there's nothing inside this one and we're, we're pretending there's something inside this one? It's the same but different. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.